Welcome to Earthman the Barbarian. First, there was only darkness, no sound, no light, nothing. Not that you have any eyes to see or ears to hear or of any form whatsoever. You existed only as a possibility of what could be in the endless void of nothingness. Then, you existed. You had arms, you had legs. There was enough light to see the world around. Thoughts began to form in your head about who you were and as you look at the sights of the world around you. You were in a room made with strong stone walls illuminated by a large glowing portal standing right in front of you. You were in the portal room of your site's capital and it's the last remaining city. Thoughts come into your head as you think of them. You were a caster, a dollar master no less, and knowledge becomes of the discipline begins to seep into your mind. <laughs> and you hear sounds outside, people fighting for their lives, the clashing of blades. Suddenly, the portal flickers out, and you're bathed in darkness again. Suddenly, an almighty rumble as the walls come crashing down. The slight blessing when they come crashing down is that the light returns and you're able to see around you. But alas, you feel it. You are alone. Newly popped and your sight is no more. You are now a barbarian. Well, looking around the eggs, all that is left of the city is ruins, rubble, debris, litter the area. The only other units in the eggs seem to be collapsed upon the ground. There seems to be two pikers and two goblins, and the portal only left the base in the middle of the eggs. Hmm, two large chests also stand out, and some fruit as well. As we check over the bodies, you see that the pikers from their clothing seem actually to be from your old sides, from your newly fallen side. The goblins, however, show no livery. One piker and one goblin are dead, croaked with axes in their eyes. You claim their bodies, and from the piker you take the pike and the armor, as your sense, your dolomancy senses tell you it is in prime condition. The other piker and goblin are not crooked. They're alive, but incapacitated. They're going to crook next, next turn. Hmm, two actions used up. A friend ponders what to do with incapacitated units. But first, food! You take a piece of fruit and very carefully eat it, making sure that you save the seed, the seed core in the middle and claim the seat as once you're done. A feeling of being satisfied washes over you. Your upkeep has been paid for the turn! Woohoo! Oh, oh my god! I didn't even notice that there was a red flashing light in the back of my mind with a purse of emptiness, empty, and no, the upkeep hasn't been paid. I would have depopped next turn if this if I hadn't eaten this. Huh. One action used up. Looking at the chests, you become wary of traps and suddenly recall a simple dolomancy spell. Hmm. Wires and fires and snares, oh my! Ring! Casting your first spell is like fills you with a rush of euphoria. Your dolomancy senses become extremely sensitive. Checking over the chests, now you. Ah, you don't detect any mechanisms aside from the hinges and the locks. The first chest is unlocked, the second chest is locked. Carefully opening the first chest, you're surprised to find that it's much larger inside than in outside. It is, however, empty. Or, or it was empty. As you look in, the bodies and the seed that you had claimed disappear and appear down there. Useful. 
two actions used up. 25 juice used up. Hmm. Earthman then ponders what to do with the concern the locked chest. But is distracted with the idea of golem creation. We can make golems. The more complicated golem you attempt to make, the higher the chance of failure. And it will take longer and cost more juice as well. Golems will not have a maintenance in schmuckers like we do, but upon creation will be bestowed with juice. And the beginning of the turn, their upkeep will be discounted from that pool of juice. And whenever that it runs out, it will become mm, inactive and will have to be recharged with juice again. Okay. In order to create the golem, the cast will need material resources, just such as wool, wood, clothes, and will need both juice and move. If the caster does not have their necessary resources, some resources may be paid for in smuckers instead. A simple golem for a novice caster that we are will take an entire turn to make. Hmm. Non speaking units such as golems must be given specific instructions and may auto engage if unled. Their action, however, may be used to complete tasks. Oh, so they can help us. Hmm. And we have three remaining actions for the turn. Earthman ponders what to do next. Looking at the chest again, it is two by three feet of appears to be metal and magically reinforced wood. The lock appears to be iron. You can't be certain, but it seems you feel that it may have been made through a combination of dolomancy and carnimancy. Inside, the chest widens out about to the size of a small room. <coughs> hmm. Looking at the piker, you see that he's badly battered and bruised, most likely to a large amount of blunt force trauma. Our priority should be saving the only unit or former side that we've seen so far. So we're going to take the clothes from the crook goblin, rip them to bandage size, and then we're going to enhance them into magical bandages to try to stabilize our, our piker friend. But it's hard. It's more like humancy than dollamancy. And we do it. Congratulations! We created magical bandages! Yeah! But only enough for one unit. Well, okay, we wrap the piker. And congratulations! He has been stabilized for the turn. He's not gonna croak. And next turn, he's gonna wake up and can give you orders. Yeah. Okay. Hmm, but now that we don't have any more bandages in our juice. The incapacitated goblin will croak next turn. Hmm. What should we do? It's probably... We shouldn't kill him, right? It's so like... He's in lying there defenseless. But the pragmatic side wins over. We should at least... He should at least give us experience. He shouldn't disappear for nothing. Okay, then we go there and... Croak it. And you feel a rush of experience. You have croaked the goblin and gained experience. Oof. Hmm. Looking again at the chests, the locked chests. You rush over and poop, 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 poop. But nothing happens. Hmm. Realizing you have neither the time nor the juice to try anything more, you decide you have to save it for later. You then start dating you about all the awesome golems and designs you can do. Until you remember that you don't have the time for that either. Realizing the turn will end soon, you rush to the chest, take the seed, make a hole in the ground with the with a pike, put the seed in, and cover it with soil. You have planted the seed, and the turn ends. <laughs>